Math 6, Quarter 3, Week 1, Milk Base. Let's learn about Solid Figures and Its Features. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about solid figures and its features. For most essential learning competencies, visualizes and describes the different solid figure like cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Differentiates solid figures from plain figures. And identifies the faces of a solid figure. Hello! In this lesson, we will study and learn about geometrical concepts and describe the things around us. We will visualize and describe illustrations of different figures and discover the geometry in some objects. Furthermore, we will also discuss the concepts of different solid figures and its common characteristics. Let's read the problem. A boy asked to clean his bedroom and found the following objects. From the items he found, let us classify the following objects based on its geometrical features. Let us identify the objects inside the boy's room. The boy found a bed, a toy traffic cone, dice, a soccer ball, and a coin bank. What shapes can you see from these objects? We can see rectangles from the picture of the bed, triangles from the toy traffic cone, the ball is shaped like a circle, while the coin bank has two circles for its bases. The dice is represented by a square. Note that rectangles, squares, circles, and triangles are plain figures. The picture above are examples of real solid figures. Let us differentiate plain figures and solid figures. Observe these examples below. Plain figures. Plain figures are two-dimensional shape, flat, and has length and width. While solid figures are three-dimensional shape, thickness and depth, and has length, width, and height. Observe that pictures from the left side are flat. The figures have no thickness. These are called two-dimensional shapes or plain figures because it only has the length and the width. It can be composed of a straight line, curved line, or both straight and curved lines. The pictures on the right side are figures which do not line flat on a plane. Space figures are often referred to as solids. These solid figures have three dimensions, length, width, and height or thickness. The flat surfaces of a solid figure are its faces. Remember that solid figures have polygons as faces. The base is the face on which the figure rests. The edge of a solid figure is the line segment where two faces meet. A vertex, the plural is vertices, is the corner that is formed where the ends of the line segments or two or more faces meet. Specifically, you can observe the number of faces, edges, and vertices as well as the shape of the base. Let us study the different solid figures their number of faces and bases, their number of edges, 
and their number of vertices. Spear. A spear has zero vases and zero faces. The number of edges is zero, and the number of vertices is zero. Rectangular prism. Rectangular prism has six faces. The number of edges is 12, and the number of vertices is 8. Cone. Cone has one curved surface and one circular base. The number of edges is 0, and the number of vertices is 1. Next is Cylinder. Cylinder has two circular bases and one lateral curved surface. The number of edges is 0, and the number of vertices is 0. Square Pyramid Square Pyramid has four triangular faces. The number of edges is 8, and the number of vertices is 5. Cube Cube has one square base and six faces. The number of edges is 12, and the number of vertices is 8. Triangular Frisim Triangular Frisim has 5 faces. The number of edges is 9, and the number of vertices is 6. A spear has a curved surface on which every point is equidistant from the center. A rectangular prism has 6 rectangles for its outside surface. Each surface is called a face. Each pair of faces intersects outside in an edge. A cone has a circle for the base and a curved surface that comes to a point. A cylinder has two equal and parallel circles as bases and a lateral curved surface. A pyramid has a base of any polygon and triangular faces that meet in a common vertex. A square pyramid has a square of its base. A cube or a square prism has six squares for its faces. All the edges are equal in length. It has eight vertices and twelve edges. A triangular prism has three rectangular and two triangular faces. And now let us do learning task one. Is it a plane or solid figure? Fill in the table below. Draw the object to its corresponding group. Do this on your notebook. What are those plane figures and what are those solid figures? So you are going to choose those plane figures from the picture above and draw them on the first column. Same with the solid figure. The plane figures are Triangle Trapezoid Circle and Hexagon And the solid figures are Cubes Soccer ball Ice cream cone And a soft drink in can For learning task 2 Identify the following figures and circle the correct name of the solid figure. What is the name of the first solid figure? Is it cube, cylinder, or pyramid? Correct! This solid figure is a cube. Second figure. Is it rectangular prism, spear, or square pyramid? What is the correct answer? Very good! The name of this solid figure is Spear. Third figure. Is it cone, triangular prism, or cylinder? What is the correct answer? Very good! The name of this solid figure is Cylinder. Fourth figure. Is it rectangular prism, pyramid, or cone? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is rectangular prism. Fifth figure. Is it cube, pyramid, or spear? What is the correct answer? Very good! This solid figure is 
pyramid. Six figure. Is it triangular prism, sphere, or cube? What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is triangular prism. And what is the last figure? Is it cone, cube, or cylinder? Very good! The correct answer is cone. For learning test 3, identify the solid figure being described in the following sentences. Number 1. A blank has two equal and parallel circles as bases and a lateral curved surface. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a cylinder. Number 2. A blank has a base of any polygon and triangular faces that meet in a common vertex. It has a square for its base. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a square pyramid. Number 3. It is a solid figure that blank has a curved surface on which in every point is the same distance from the center within. It is perfectly round. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a spear. Number 4. A blank or a square prism has 6 squares for its faces. All the edges are equal in length. It has 8 vertices and 12 edges. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a cube. Number 5. A blank has 3 rectangular and 2 triangular faces. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a triangular prism. Number 6. A blank has 6 rectangles for its outside surface. Its surface is called a face. Each pair of faces intersects outside in an edge. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a rectangular prism. And number 7. A blank has a circle for the base and a curved surface that comes to a point. What kind of solid figure is this? Very good! This solid figure is a cone. When Ara celebrated her 12th birthday, she organized and sorted her received gifts by its different shapes as a way to guess what is inside in each gift. She observes the similar and different attributes of the gifts to put them into categories. Looking at the characteristics of the gifts, what are the shapes of the sides of each gift? And how many sides, edges, and corners does each have? From the gift sorted by Ara, try to fill in the table with its characteristics, namely its number and shapes of faces, bases, name of the solid figure, and its description. Do this on your notebook. Number 1 is done for you. So for example, the solid figure represented as cube. The number of faces has 6 square faces. The shape of base is square. And the description is each face is a square. And now, let us identify the first gift. The solid figure represented for the first gift is rectangular prism. The number of faces has 6 faces. The shape of base is rectangle. And the description is each face is a rectangle. The solid figure represented for the next gift is square pyramid. The number of faces is 4 faces. The shape of base is square. And the description is each face is a triangle. And a base is a square. So the solid figure represented for the third gift of Ara is Spear. Spear has zero faces. The shape of base is zero. And for the description, 
every point is equidistant from the center. The solid figure represented for the fourth gift of Ara is triangular prism. There are five faces in triangular prism. The shape of vase is rectangle. For the description, there are three rectangular and two triangular faces. The solid figure represented for the last gift of Ara is a cone. A cone has one curved surface. The shape of base is circle. And for the description, it has a circle for the base and a curved surface that comes to a point. For the assessment, try constructing the following nets to form a solid figure and write a short description about it. Refer to the rubrics below. Here is the rubrics. 3 points for smiling face. The second face is 2 points and the sad face is 1 point. On task, I use my time and resources well. Composition, I was able to correctly make. Creativity, my work is unique and shows my. Work quality, my work is carefully made. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!